All right, guys. So the first co-harvest is live on Aridex right now. I'm going to walk us through step by step on what we're looking at uh, and how to use uh, this interface so that you can actually place a bid. Uh, so the first thing I'm going to do is give you the quick lay of the land. Uh, at the top of the green, you'll see that we have our pool value, our timer counting down. Uh, here you'll see distribution of all of the bids and a uh, total number of bids that are currently placed. Uh, please note that all bids, once they're placed, are locked in until the round is closed. So all bids are bonded until the round is closed. And then if you win, you get your distribution. If you lose, um, then you will get your Oriax refunded automatically. No need to manually withdraw there when that happens. Um, down at the bottom, you're going to see your bidding history. As you can see, I've placed a number of bids at different tiers, uh, bid at 21%, uh, 10%, and 1%. And this is the total amount, obviously. Uh, and if when we head over here to the sort of returning received uh, category, what we're going to see is that um, not all of my bids will get filled, right? So originally when I placed this bid at 21%, there weren't very many bids. So this bid was going to be filled. But at the current status, I'm actually going to get that entire Arai X um, bid back and refunded to me automatically at the end. Uh, and that's the same with my 10% bid tier. I'm going to get that whole amount refunded to me. Uh, now I did place a bid uh, at the 1% tier, 257, and I will get a small gain there, uh, 262. Uh, in USDC back there. Um, so that's exciting. And then when you head over to all bidding, you will see um, distribution again of where every uh, bid is placed currently, broken down. Uh, so now we're going to head up here and place a bid in real time. Uh, so I have seven, about 7,000 uh, Arai X. I'm going to bid 100% of those Arai X. As you can see, I've chosen the 2% discount pool. Uh, and that 2% discount pool is going to allow me to get 100% of my bid value received back to me as USDC. Now, I can obviously move this to 1% uh, and also get... 100% uh, of my value back in USDC, uh, but it's going to be a little bit less, right? And then on the opposite side, if I were to go to a 3% discount, uh, I'm only going to have my order partially filled because this 3% pool is already quite full. That means that I will receive both some USDC and my Oriax refunded to me. And as we go beyond this to 4%, um, we'll see that my bid will not fill, and I'll receive 100% of my Arai X refunded to me. So it's best for me right now to choose 3%. Everything below 4% um, right now, although there's a, quite a bit of money that's been bid in this range, um, those bids are not going to be filled. Only the bids 3% and up are going to be filled at this time. So... As I said, I'm going to place my bid at 2%. Um, I can understand that I'm going to hopefully get a 93.3 USDC back in return. Uh, and I'm going to place this bid. Uh, keep in mind that this potential return is subject to change uh, depending on how bids are placed uh, in this round. It might make sense as a bidder to wait until um, more bids are placed in order to choose where you want to place your bid. Um, but at this time, it seems like this is the safest place for me to bid um, my, my Arayx. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. And my transaction is successful. When we go down here to my bids, I'm going to see that now I do have that bid locked at 2%. Um, so now I do, I do have that locked in. Uh, I'm going to be able to win on two of these bids and then two of my bids I have not won. Uh, and that is all right because I'm going to get my Arai X refunded to me at the close of the round.